morning everybody, I'm on my first real, I think what they're called the chicken buses, true South American experience, the bus says no walls, no doors, <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting ride, I looked it up this morning, it told me it was 35 kilometers and an hour and 53 minutes, so I am just so curious to see how this goes. After spending a week in the beautiful mountain town of Hardin, I knew it was time for my next adventure. So I'm heading south to the city of Manizales in hopes of finding better internet and perhaps a chance to stay at a finca, a Colombian coffee farm. I am beginning to understand why a 35 kilometer road is going to take two hours. <laughs> it can barely be described as a road. Stopped off here for a moment, thank god, because I really had to pay, but there's like bathrooms. We're in the middle of the mountains right now, I honestly have no idea where we are, but I can show you guys the full glory of this bus, it's really pretty. Look at it. I've just stopped off from the bus terminal at Rio Cicia. Um, because that's the bus ended and I've now gotten the taking that to Manizales. It's very expensive to get to Manizales from Hadeen. It'll be 50,000 by the time I get there, which is quite a bit. This is the company I ended up going with. I'll let you know if they're any good. We've just departed Rio Sucio for Manizales. At this exact moment, the ride is full. Let's hope it stays that way. just arrived in Manizales. I slept the whole way here. Oh my god, like five minutes into the journey. I was like, out, done. Um, so now I have to get to Centro. I think I have to take a cable car to get there. I don't really know. So we're gonna figure that out now. And we're now in a cable car. I'm just trying to figure out. They said take this to the center of the city, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> arrived at my absolutely beautiful hostel in Manizales. Right now I'm gonna go eat because all I've eaten today is a handful of trail mix at 6 30 in the morning and then a very small and sad grilled cheese sandwich at noon and it's 3 p.m. and I'm fucking starving. <laughs> I'm on food. I've been recommended a very good vegetarian place so I'm headed there now and I'm so excited to eat real food. It's actually been three days since I picked up my last vlog. I had just arrived in Manizales. All I did in Manizales was work. It was a very good city to work. I made some friends, had some food, but nothing interesting. Uh, Cause there's not really much to do like in Manizales. There's stuff to do around Manizales and I didn't do that. Um, so now I'm headed on the bus to Pereira and in Pereira, there is a beautiful eco sanctuary that I'm hopefully going to go to tomorrow to see birds and monkeys and I'm so excited. I got to Perea, got to everyone at the bus stop that I was going on to Salento. I'm like, no, I'm actually staying here and they just looked at me like, what? Um, so I'm here at my hotel, I managed to book them two nights because the reserve that I was going to is not accepting overnight visitors, so I want to be able to stay there the whole day, which means that I need to be able to leave all my shit at a hotel in Perea. 
So I'm just packing everything because I'm getting up bright and early tomorrow. I'm going to be taking the 7 a.m. Chiba out of the square to get to a Tungamaya, hopefully for the morning, so I can see all the birds and the monkeys, and I'm very, very excited. <laughs> So I've just arrived and I can't really understand what they've told me but I think they're trying to tell me that it's closed but I'm like no they told me it was open for the day but like I couldn't stay overnight but that I could come during the day and walk around and stuff so now I've just been told to sit here and wait and see what happens so yep it's an adventure today. <laughs> Hello friends, another fun update on this adventure. Um, apparently they're like, you needed a reservation to be here. And I was like, I was told that I did not need a reservation to be here. But anyway, so I'm now, apparently this road continues for six kilometers and then you can like turn around and come back and the Chiva leaves here at five. So I'm just going to walk along the road because I'm not allowed to be on the trails without a guide, but they don't have a guide today. So we're just gonna walk and hopefully see something cool. Something lives in there. I just know it. Look at all those little holes. Definitely occupied. So I've just managed lunch, kind of. I had plantain chips and trail mix so far. Because um, I was feeling kind of shit. And I think it's because I didn't eat enough. I had breakfast at 6 a.m. And it wasn't a large breakfast. So I'm like, why am I so hungry? And it's like, there's a reason for that. I'm trying to be really, really careful where I step right now, which is why I keep looking down, because apparently there are occasionally poisonous snakes that slither through this road, and I would like to not encounter one at close range. <laughs> made the decision to go down to the river because I found a spot here that looks like I should be able to because I am almost out of water and I have my water bottle that I can filter water but I do not have extra water so we gotta go get that now. <laughs> Got my grail headed down to the river. <laughs> This has to be the coolest thing. That's a lie, I probably sent all the cool things, but look at this guy. Look at how big that is. Oh, that makes me look bright. Look at how big that boy is. That's so cool. 
I wonder what it's called. It looks kind of like an old plantain. So if I had to guess, I'd say like a platano slug or something, but... Wildlife. <laughs> this is the stuff you get close to, because you're not getting close to anything else, so... <laughs> here is about six kilometers long until you get to the end of it which then leads into a path into Los Nevados National Park um, and I probably could keep going all the way to the end of it if I walked really fast and then walked really fast back but I think I'd rather just kind of mosey around today spend more time looking at the birds and the trees so I am now headed back with a couple hours to spare I shouldn't say that it gives it a little jinx me or something but <laughs> Okay, I know this doesn't look super exciting at first glance, however, look at these prints. Look at how huge they are. Again, I will use my hand for scale. Those are pretty big animal, and if I'm correct, I think it's a taper, because there's not that many animals in the forest big enough to make a print like this, and, and, I'm pretty sure I remember reading something about tapers having three toes, and I know there are tapers in this forest, because I know there's some native to South America, and also they were on the sign. So, I haven't seen any, I don't think I will, but it's really exciting <laughs> that I've even seen the prints, it means they're here and they're nearby, it's so cool! This is the other exciting thing you get to see as a wildlife lover slash photographer slash person. Scat! This looks like the scat of an herbivore. Do I know whose it is? No. But yeah, that's what you see when you're looking for animals. You see tracks and scat, and you're just like, well, I hope there are some animals around here. And they're there. They're always there. But you never see them. 